You arrested a lot of folks for unlawful activity. You right. just saw the video, and I will tell I'm you, Mr. Order, Ray, Mr. Uh, if you don't yeah. arrest Mr. Epps, the there's a reason behind it. I believe you know order what it order. is, and it appears to me you are protecting this guy. I strongly recommend you get your house back in order. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. So we have a new video on this. Um, so today we are going to watch FBI as Rail tries to hide disgusting video. Hmm. This is going to be really amazing because this is a Congress meeting. So let's give this a try. Chair now recognizes the gentleman for Texas for five minutes. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, I will say this, Mr. Ray. I, I am one of those sheriffs that will, will be very blunt with you today. That's right here. I, I've had an opportunity to look at your testimony, lots of stuff and hear about numerous task forces, crimes being committed against children, including even infants and to toddlers, MS-13 mm. gang members coming across the open southern border, the poisoning and killing of the American people with fentanyl, the, the sex trafficking, the human trafficking. It, it's quite clear, it is clear that you guys are dealing with some of the sickest bastards in our society. Okay, these are serious offenses. <laughs> these are serious offenses. I'm gonna give someone a lifetime, guys. This is serious. I have an article here from CNN in January 2022 calling the January 6th investigation the biggest investigation in FBI history. And what shocks me about this, quite honestly, is that you don't mention January 6th. Again, the biggest investigation, not one time in your 14-page testimony. You don't mention it one time. And that makes me ask myself the question, what the hell are you hiding? Sir, you mentioned 38,000 agents and support personnel in your agency. How many FBI agents and support personnel have you assigned to the January 6th investigation? I don't know that I know the number. I know we have a lot of people working okay, on it in multiple lots then. fields. Fair enough, lots. Yeah. Knowing that you are dealing with some of the sickest people in our society with investigations related to child sex trafficking, have you reassigned any of these agents or personnel to investigate January 6th? Yes or no? I, I don't believe we have reassigned people away from uh, child exploitation okay, to January I, 6th. Now, but now, let me just say this, Director. I, I find that answer knowledge. disturbing because huh, last so. month, Steve Friend... He testified before the Weaponization Committee. Mr. Friend was a domestic terrorism investigator for you, and he was told by one of his superiors that January 6th was, I quote, a higher priority than pursuing child pornography cases, end quote. And for those of you watching in America, understand today's FBI is more concerned about searching for and arresting grandma and grandpa for entering the Capitol building that day than pursuing the sick individuals in our society who prey on our children. And Mr. Yeah. Ray, your priorities are flawed. But let's rehash what we know so far, all right? It's the largest investigation in FBI history, and you don't mention it in your testimony. Agents have been reassigned from child exploitation cases and so on. So now let's get into the money, Mr. Ray. How much taxpayer money has been spent on January 6th? I don't know that I have the figure oh, you don't have in my okay, head, fine. but... Mr. Ray, I got an article here, uh, December 22, uh, 2022, two years after the events of January 6th, and it says the Justice Department has requested another $34 million from Congress. And uh, number one, you shouldn't get another dime. The FBI shouldn't get another dime for this political witch hunt against the greatest president in my lifetime, Donald J. Trump. I, I want to turn my attention now to this fella, this character, Mr. Ray Epps. We've all heard of him. We've heard of Mr. Ray Epps. He was number 16 on your FBI Most Wanted list. He was encouraging people the night prior and the day of to go into the Capitol. And Mr. Ray Epps can be seen at the first breach of Capitol grounds at approximately 12.50 p.m. Play the clip, please. There's something fishy right here. There's something all right. And I love Mr. Neil. He's trying to reveal other secret for us. And I'm curious to know because I'm just saying this. And we're watching this together for the first time. We need to go into the Capitol. Into the Capitol. Into the Capitol. What? We are going to the Capitol, where our problems are. It's that direction. Please spread the word. All right, no, Dave, but one more thing. Yeah, so can we go up there? No? When we go in. Are we going to get arrested if we go up there? Yeah. You don't need to get shot. There 
there he is, breaching the line, going in at the first breach into the Capitol, into the Capitol grounds, a restricted area. Mr. Ray, you have arrested hundreds of people related to January 6th. And there have been people arrested for breaching Capitol grounds. Cooey Griffin is an example. Rachel Genko is an example. And then we go to Mr. Brandon Strecka. Brandon was arrested for disorderly and disruptive conduct which included yelling, I quote, go, 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 as rioters tried to empty the Capitol. These three never went into the Capitol. They never assaulted anyone. So let's be honest with each other. There is very little difference between the actions of Ray Epps and Brandon Stricka that day, but yet Stricka was arrested and Epps wasn't. Epps also testified to the January 6th committee. He was back at his hotel when video evidence showed that he wasn't, he lied. He was on the Capitol grounds just as Brandon Strecker was. Epps yeah. even texted his nephew at 2.12 p.m. and said, I quote, I was in the front with a few others. It was on the video. I also orchestrated it. Now look into the camera, sir, when you answer my next question. Are you going to arrest Mr. Epps, yes or no? I'm not going to engage here in a discussion about individual people who are okay, or are not going to be prosecuted. Can I get a commitment? You just watch the video. I'm an old law dog. I understand a little bit about probable cause. He did very little. There was very little difference what he did in Mr. Strecka. You can see him. He's encouraging. I almost think he's inciting a riot. He's encouraging people the night prior to go into the Capitol the day of, go into the Capitol, and he was at the first breach and he breached the restricted area. Everybody, a lot of people getting arrested for not going into the Capitol, but they're in the restricted area. But yet, Ray Epps, who many people feel, fed, 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 right? And there's a lot of cloud over this. So I, I, my point is this. You arrested a lot of folks for unlawful activity. You right. just saw the video. And I will tell oh, no, you, Mr. Order, Ray, Mr. Uh, if you don't yeah. arrest Mr. Epps, the there's a reason behind it. I believe you know order what it order. is. And it yeah. appears to me you are protecting this guy. I strongly recommend you get your house back in order. With that, I yield back. I, I think the gentleman, gentleman yields back. Uh, Director, we appreciate, we appreciate those, uh, the whole country does. In fact, I said this in an interview this morning, a TV interview this morning, uh, two of those agents who served for years in the FBI, did great work, now work for the Committee on the Republican Staff. And we appreciate the work they did then, the work they're doing now. But they share the same concerns raised by members of the committee. That's why they came to work for us. So I just got a couple other questions. Any of the FBI personnel who did improper, improper queries of the 702 database, have any of those individuals lost their clearance? Um, well, we had, depends on how far back you want to go in time. We've had individuals, if you go back to say like 2018, I think was the last I remember where you had somebody who engaged in intentional conduct and the person uh, for example, is gone. I think there were security clearances revoked for people back in that time period, but I don't know that we've had somebody who's engaged in, um, uh, you know, intentional or reckless conduct uh, more recently than that. We have, as you may know, Mr. Chairman, and we, this actually didn't come up today, uh, but it's important for people to know, uh, we recently uh, put in place a whole new set of accountability policies specifically focused on 702. Uh, they go through cascading consequences. Yep. Um, and it's, so that's an important It's been piece. reported that donors of a congressional uh, member of Congress uh, have, have, were, were illegally searched. Has that individual lost their clearance? Hmm. Uh, Okay. I'm not sure I'm familiar with the specific example. So. Well, it's been, it's been widely reported that uh, the donor base for a member of Congress uh, has been, been searched. And I just wonder if, if that has, if the person responsible for that has had any consequences like a loss of security clearance. I, I don't know the answer. Okay. Is the FBI assisting the Secret Service in the uh, investigation as to how cocaine wound up at the White House? Uh, Yes, I want to be a little bit careful about what I can say here because the Secret Service is leading the investigation, but uh, as is standard in an investigation uh, where white powder is found, uh, the FBI's lab uh, personnel did an evaluation to determine whether or not there was a, you know, sort of biological... Is that the only assistant? We have, that's the only assistant we've done so far. We have offered the full range of our assistance uh, to the Secret Service uh, if they want to use us for that purpose. Uh, but beyond that, that purpose I would refer or... you to the Secret Service. 
Is that, that offer has been denied? Is that what you're saying? I, I no, guess I, didn't, I didn't say that. I just, okay. we've offered it to the Secret Service, okay. but beyond that, I would refer to them. In October of 2020, when Facebook asked the FBI, is the Biden laptop story Russian disinformation? The FBI's answer was no comment. Who gave that answer? And before you answer, hmm. sir, if I might just interject the fact that we agreed that I would have two questions and you would have two questions. I think I said a couple questions. Yeah, yeah. and uh, you've asked a couple. In fact, I don't think I know I said a couple parts, questions, but I give you five minutes. But, so, but I'll, I'll. Do you want another question? No, I, okay. I want us to uh, conclude this hearing, and, and I, I respect your And We will be done in two minutes and chair. ten seconds. Thank you. And we, and we appreciate that, and we obviously appreciate that the uh, director being here. In October 2020, when Facebook asked the FBI, "Is the Biden laptop story Russian disinformation?" The FBI's <laughs> response was no comment. Do you know who gave that response? I did not. The court knew, and the court said it was Laura Demlo. Do you know who Laura Demlo is? Uh, I do know who Laura Demlo is. And what does she do? Uh, Laura Demlo uh, is an agent in our uh, counterintelligence division, and she currently works with the Foreign Influence Task Force. Doesn't she head the Foreign Influence Task Force? Uh, I think she leads it, yeah. She leads the Foreign Influence Task Force. Did you tell her to give that comment? Did I what now? Did you instruct anyone when Facebook asked, did you instruct them to give the no comment? Uh, I didn't, don't remember giving any instruction along those lines, although I should say I'm not sure whether Laura Demlo was in that role at the time frame that you described, but I... I Again, I the right court now, in Louisiana know. said she was and said when Facebook asked her specifically, she said no comment. And this is the Foreign Influence Task Force leader, Foreign Influence Task Force that you created as, as director hmm. of the FBI, correct? Uh, all oh, that's correct. You created the Foreign Influence I task did force. create the Foreign Influence Yeah, task you put force. that together and she, she heads it up. Okay. Um, when did you become, how did you become aware of the Catholic memo? The one in Richmond that we talked about a couple times today. Um, as I recall. Okay. Uh, right now there's a lot of questions going on and the director is trying to be very careful not to say something he didn't see. But... I feel like there's a lot of things that's hidden. I know that they have to be very careful because they're FBI and there are hidden things that they should not discl disclose even during the Congress. But the more they are hiding some stuff, the more it's feeling looking fishy, the more it's looking like they don't want to see the entire story, like the protesters that went in, who they have arrested and who they let aside. I, in one of my regular morning meetings, uh, I learned that there was this product, and that was the same day that I ordered that it uh, be removed. Was that before, or was that before, or after it was already in the press? That I can't. I, that I can't tell you. My guess is it was probably around the same time, but I don't know. Did you learn about it? Did the people, did the people who who brought it up to you, did they learn about it from the press, or was it some internal communication? I, I can't speak to how they learned about it. Um, I just know that I was told about it by them, and we had a conversation about immediately taking steps that we then did. We appreciate, uh, to, and we appreciate that. Yeah. Okay, Director, we, we appreciate your time today. I know it's been a long day. Um, the, um, we already had the unanimous consent from Mr. Gates, so the committee is adjourned. Yes, I know really, really talked to him, to, to really talk to the director, bring out both that evidence, and he was really pissed that they are trying to hide the um, sex offenders, people who are making children to do pornography, Whereas the, the FBI is going for people who are old, something that should tackle the main important things of sex trafficking, sex molestation of children, like that it really did not put their mind into that. So Mr. Nair was really pissed. He would ask the question, but at the same time asking the question, the director was kind of like, oh, I'm on my way. Um, I don't know about that. I can't remember. Like he's not answering Mr. Nair like promptly. It feels like... They're still investigating that matter, but he should open up because he's not open up. The director is not open up to Mr. Neil. So Mr. Neil is kind of like pissed. Like, you know about this. You know about what is going on. Why, why is it that he's being hidden? We should know exactly what is happening. We should know the sex offenders. We should know the people who are making our children to at point. Like, that is very, 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 very terrible. Hearing that there are sex, sex offenders like that, like making children to go at spawn is it's very, 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 very harsh. It's very disturbing for me, if I would say. Well, I like Mr. Neil. He was straight to the point and he, he was precise. He asked the question direct exactly what's the 
what needed to hear, what USA needed to hear from the director. And he'll just ask the question straight. He brought that evidence and he, he has proof. And I love that about Mr. Neil. Like he was really prepared for this Congress meeting. So guys, comment down below. What, what, do you what do you think about this video? Comment down below. What is your say? Just give us a thumbs up. Share this video as many as you can, guys. We'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I, I just bought a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitches in my bed. I got scales all